warm welcome to one and all this is chetan jadhav from mechanical department working with jain college of engineering belgaum students today we are going to start the first module on fluid power system in this lecture we are going to study the basic structure of fluid power system also some applications of fluid power system students before we start the first module let me go through the syllabus of fluid power system in first module that is introduction to fluid power system we will study the basic structure of fluid power system applications of fluid power system pascal's law applications of pascal's law different fluid properties additives mechanical seals and filters etc in second model that is pumps and actuators we are going to study the working principle of pumps and actuators types of pumps types of actuators and some numericals on pumps and actuators in the third module that is components and hydraulic circuit design we are going to study different components of fluid power system that is direction control wall flow control wall pressure control wall then with help of these components we are going to build some simple hydraulic circuits in module 4 that is pneumatic power system in this module we will study basic structure of pneumatic power system the working of filter regulator lubricator and its symbols in module 5 that is pneumatic control circuits in this module we are going to study different methods of actuating pneumatic power system then speed control of cylinders that is supply at throttling and exhaust air throttling then we will study some signal processing elements like or gate and gate not gate finally with the help of these signal processing elements we are going to build some simple pneumatic circuits students let me start with the first module that is introduction to fluid power systems consider an excavator as shown in the below figure which is used for removing the soil from the earth crust it is also known as an earth mover which is used for heavier works in house construction purpose let me consider an animation of an excavator students from the animation we can see that the driver who is sitting inside the excavator cabinet and he is doing some actual mechanical work to do this type of mechanical work he need to supply some energy that is hydraulic energy to different parts or components of excavator that is with the help of an excavator he should be able to generate control and transfer the hydraulic energy from one point of the excavator to other points so that he can do some useful work hence we can define fluid power system as it is the technology to generate control and transfer the power from one point to another point using a fluid as an intermediate medium by taking the help of cylinder piston pump direction control valves and flow control valves also pressure control valves students uh, let me discuss some basic components of fluid power systems there are seven basic components of fluid power system first one is tank as shown in the below figure tank is used for storing the hydraulic oil hence it is also called as reservoir second one is pump it is used to pump the hydraulic oil from the reservoir to the cylinder 
it means the function of pump is to circulate the hydraulic coil from one point to other points of fluid power system the third one is motor motor is used for driving the pump so that we will get required fluid pressure fourth one is pressure control valve which is also called as pressure regulator which is used to control the fluid pressure required for the fluid power system fifth one is direction control valve the function of direction control valve is to control the direction of fluid flow whether we want the fluid flow in clockwise direction or in counter clockwise directions sixth one is piston cylinder arrangement it is also called as an actuator which converts pressure energy of hydraulic coil into mechanical force seventh one is pipes or hoses it is used to carry the hydraulic coil from one location of fluid power system to other location students let me explain the working principle of fluid power system as we discussed there are different components present in the fluid power system starting from reservoir filter pump motor pressure regulator or pressure control valve direction control valve and piston cylinder arrangement as we switch on the electric motor the pump will start rotating due to which suction pressure will be created at the entry of pump hence fluid present in the reservoir will start flowing towards the pump through a filter the function of filter is to arrest the dust particles which are going to enter the pump as the fluid passes through the pump the pressure energy of the fluid is going to increase at pressure regulator or pressure control valve we can set the required pressure for piston cylinder arrangement and the excess pressure will be bypassed towards the tank then at the direction control valve we will be able to control the direction of fluid flow whether in counter clockwise direction or in clockwise direction when the fluid flow is in counter clockwise direction fluid enters the lower portion of the cylinder and it will lift the piston in upward direction which is known as forward stroke or extension stroke of the cylinder when the fluid flow is in clockwise direction fluid enters the upper portion of the cylinder and it will push the piston in downward direction which is known as return stroke of the cylinder hence by using a fluid power system we can convert hydraulic energy into useful mechanical work this is how a fluid power system works students let me list some advantages of fluid power system first one is ease and accuracy of control it means by the use of simple levers or push buttons we can operate a fluid power system we can start stop speed up or slow down as per our requirement second one is multiplication of force it means by using the principle of pascal's law we can apply small force at the inlet and we can generate more amount of force at the outlet third one is constant force or torque the force developed from fes is always constant and it is independent of any speed variation it means there is no fluctuation in the output mechanical force fourth one is simplicity safety and economy the fluid power system which is having simple construction and it has higher safety precautions fifth one is instantaneous stopping 
that means hydraulic actuators can be stopped instantaneously at any time let me discuss some disadvantages of fluid power system since we are using the working medium as liquid that is hydraulic oil there is a chances of internal leakages or external leakages which is a major problem in fluid power system since some hydraulic components are quite expensive they require some high initial investment cost sometimes contamination present in the hydraulic coil leads to corrosion of hydraulic components since hydraulic components should be machined or manufactured to highest accuracy there is a requirement of better machine tools applications of fluid power systems there are several applications of fluid power systems in a different fields some of the applications are as follows that is hydraulic lifter or scissor lifter hydraulic brakes aircraft landing gear system aircraft direction of motion control system pneumatic controlled doors in automobiles industrial forklifts robotic arm and gripper operation hydraulic powered excavator students will discuss this application in detail in the next lecture